found these lovely little things. I don't know what I've made them out of, but they've got calico stretched over board. You could, you could mount them somehow as four abstracts, couldn't you? So I'm just very quickly going to start putting pa paint on. So I'm just going to get some paints and start it off. So if you think you're doing with the four, so to sort of bring the colours so that they go together in lovely arbitrary ways. And I do the edges as well because they're going to sit so nicely together, aren't they? So I can have them edges showing. You can really enjoy this. You can just like do it and have confidence in your own mark. I think that's so important. But difficult to do. I do understand it is difficult. I just want to bring the white into there. I know it's already got white on, but I want the texture as well and a slight bit of colour. And at this point, I'm just getting colour on. And even like, try and be confident, like, that's a, a nice mark. Even though I didn't really mean to put it on there, I think it just looks like your own mark. So it's almost like doing the abstract expressionism. And just don't worry about it, you know? Just get it on there and enjoy it rather than anything. And have confidence. I mean, they're really nice already. Of course, you've got to do the edges at this point because you'll never have that colour again. You'll never be able to mix it up, will you? Okay, they're lovely. They're really nice colours. Some of this blue, black, and add this to that. This is not the blue, black, it's a blue, brown. Watering it down a bit so it acts, behave like a dry brush. But not just with water, I've got a bit of bite glaze in this to keep it so that it definitely goes on. A bit fluid, and you could use it, but you could use your inks. Let's try that. This is a blue-black ink. I'm just going to drop that on as well. But again, we try to keep a hold of what you really want, you know. I want immediacy. Right. Lovely. And I want the actual way that the paint sits and is used by the brush to actually really show this is a bad brush. Imagine if you had a really good Chinese brush. I'm going to add a white to that but not mix it all in so that it's like that and do the same as I've done here. They look like pebbles. Just in the colour. Okay, that's that. Just put a little bit more white in it. Right, stop. Put them to one side to dry. 